Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here with my tea time moment of the day and I'm sticking to my word. Today is the first of the year. I did not go to Starbucks. I made my own lemon ginger tea. It has nothing in it, no sweetener, because why? I didn't go pick up my proper um, products let, yet to switch out um, my regular sweetener that I was normally using. And usually when I make this tea, I make it with um, some mint, some fresh mint, but I didn't go to the farmer's market yet. I will go later today so that I'm prepared for the rest of the week. But I put it in this clear mug so y'all can know I'm true to this thing here. It's literally my ginger at, is at the bottom. Um, my lemon is floating up top there. And so um, we're turning over a new leaf for 2023. Let's see how long it lasts because most experts say that no one, no one, really anyone sticks to their goals or if you call them New Year's resolutions for more than 15 days into the year. Matter of fact, they say most people abandoned them the first week of the year. So I'm going to hang in tight there, y'all, and I'm going to be truthful with you and let you know how it goes. But in the meantime, this tea time is dedicated to Fantasia Barino. You know, Fantasia won American Idol back in 2004. And then merely five years later, in about 2009, um, her house was about to go into foreclosure. And Simon Cowell from American Idol, he kind of saved her, okay? He, um... He didn't. I just want to turn this down so we won't hear all this noise while I'm doing this video. Um, you know, he didn't want to be like a superhero. He didn't want to make it known to the world. But he liked Fantasia um, and he had the money. He stepped in and saved her, right? So she recently did an interview saying that, you know, most artists are quietly, she said, quietly struggling. They're broke. OK, she says she lost everything twice and she is just now rebuilding everything again. And, and she also talked about how, you know, these different streaming systems and the music industry, how it does um, artists dirty with these ridiculous um, contracts that are not in the artist's favor. And she said all of these um, streaming systems like Spotify, they barely pay the artists when someone streams the music. They get like point zero zero, not even a penny. Not even a whole penny per stream is pretty much what Fantasia is saying. So do I believe her? Yes, because I want to say I think it was India Irene. Um, she also mentioned this. There's many artists have told us that, you know, the industry does some dirty with these contracts, that these streaming systems barely pay them. And you know what? I get it. And I sympathize with that. But artists have been getting ripped off back from the Motown days, right? Back from the beginning of time. And Listen, y'all can let me know if I'm being harsh, but at what point do you recognize and understand that this is happening and you say to yourself, let's do something different. Instead of us constantly, you know, just letting the world know and complaining that um, we get done dirty and that although you see us and we appear like we have money, we don't and um, it's not fair. It's not right. Well, here's the thing. In life, there's a lot of things that aren't fair. And artists are not the only people in the world that get done dirty when it comes to their craft or their work. There's everyday people that are busting their behind. And some of them don't even get a yearly raise. Some of them, when they get a raise, it be like 10 cent or 50 cent or 25 cent. There are people that don't get bonuses on their job. And there are others that do. So you're like, what's your point, Diva? My point is this. All my life, practically, darn near all my life, I worked a second job. And even when I was a nurse, because a lot of people, they feel like, oh, you're RN. You just have tons and tons of money and you make so much money. A lot of RNs, they make their money because they do what is called per diem. And guess what per diem is? 
It's just a part-time job. It's a second job, okay? It's you going to another facility, hospital, whatever, and doing hours at that particular place and getting paid, okay? It's a second job, people. And so that's why a lot of nurses rake in the dough, so to speak, is because they do per diem, a lot of per diem, all over the place. And a lot of them have an opportunity to really do that and almost work two full-time jobs if they wanted to because now they have shifts that go from 7A to 7P and you work three days a week, which leaves you four other days out of the week to go do whatever it is you want to do, work another job if you're not tired. So I hear Fantasia, right? She's saying she cooks her own meals. She doesn't have a chef. I guess she cleans her own house and does whatever else. Well, so does most of the people in the world. So what I think, you know, this music industry should do, um, all the artists, is try doing something different. Because even Meg Thee Stallion recently had to sue her record label for not getting paid. Meek Mill had to do it. Like, this is a consistent... Um, thing with the artists in the industry saying that, you know, well, we're getting ripped off. At what point does one of them say, you know what? You got ripped off. You got ripped off. You got ripped off. You got ripped off. Why don't we come together and figure out a way that we will no longer get ripped off and that all of the new up and coming artists behind us, they don't get ripped off either. Now, I think part of Fantasia's problem, um, yes, it has to do with the fact that, you know what, the industry probably didn't pay her right and that, you know, the fans are different and the way people listen to music now is different. But it also may be that she just got a problem um, um, handling her finances. And I love Fantasia, so don't come for me. I love her. But maybe part of the problem is she just doesn't know how to handle her finances. Like Tony Braxton. I love Tony Braxton. But went through similar stuff. Is it just that the industry didn't pay you right? Or is it also when you got your pay, you kind of went buck wild with the pay and didn't save any of it um, and bought luxury items and made it appear to the world like you had it all when you know that you didn't. So back to Fantasia's interview. She said, you know, because the um, interviewer asked her, you know, said to, you know, you have more money than the average person. And that's when Fantasia was like, you don't know that. Well, even if she doesn't have more money than the average person, she definitely has the opportunity where more doors will be open for her than the average person because she is Fantasia Barino, that one American Idol that has access to a Simon Cow, that has access to a lot of different people within the industry that can help her every time she falls down, build back up her career. Now, I'm very sensitive to the fact that the contracts that they are given are messy. But I'm insensitive to the fact that at what point, at what point do y'all say, you know what? This has happened to enough of us. Let's do something different. They said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Listen, ask the people from Old Town. They say Barry Gordy ripped them off. So Fantasia, I wish you well. And I totally understand what you mean that you're saying a lot of artists are struggling quietly. Well, y'all don't have to be quiet. And and in my opinion, y'all don't have to struggle. Maybe y'all won't be able to live um, a certain lifestyle that the um, fans and, and the people watching you expect. But maybe if, you know, when you're going through your rough patch, you humble yourself Get yourself a little studio apartment, a, a condo or something until you build yourself back up to where you can spend and have those luxury items that, you know, the artists portray that they have out there in the world. I don't know. Or maybe humble yourself and, you know, I don't know, drive a Toyota. Listen, this story about artists, you know, getting ripped off has been out there probably for decades. I just want our artists to change it. And in addition to that, there are some artists that, at least from our eyes, appear that they're doing very well. DJ Khaled. So maybe Fantasia and all of those that are quietly struggling, tap into one of these um, 
artists that seem like they're, they're, they're making it happen. Did they negotiate more than a penny per uh, stream for their music on Spotify? And if so, ask them how they did it. Diddy. I don't know, but they said Diddy ripped off his artist. But y'all get what I'm saying. Ask somebody that has um, successfully made it in the path in which you are in or trying to go and say, hey, can you give me some tips? I've seen to be struggling and you seem to be winning. Happy New Year's, guys. Listen. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. The question is here, like, how do we help Fantasia? Um, she says she's rebuilding for the second time here. I, I think she needs a, a, a solid financial advisor. I think she needs a good economical lawyer that before she signs her next contract, they negotiate a really good deal. I think she should sell Spotify and all these other streaming systems. If you are only going to give me a penny on on the not even a penny um on a dollar per my stream, then don't stream my music. And you know what? Utilize these other free platforms like the average everyday person and pump out your own stuff. Be your own um a uh, uh, money mogul, okay? And then have them people come in and beg for you to put your stuff back on their platform. And then you can negotiate better. Pump your own music out on YouTube. Do your own website. Do grassroots. You know, when I was growing up, um, do, you know, up and coming artists, they would literally be in the streets handing out their CDs. I'm dating myself, but I'm being so serious. And their mixtapes, like it was a cassette tape. Handing it out for free saying, please listen to me. I'm an up-and-coming rapper. I'm an up-and-coming RB singer. Pump your stuff out on Instagram, Fantasia. Take your power back. So that next time you got a project out, you know, you they will be coming begging for you. And then you have a stronger negotiation power. Travel me, guys. Hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.